Rome's Cara Calabas epitomized the wealth of the ancient Roman Empire, built to welcome up to 8,000 people a day. The ruins of the vast structure are one of the Eternal City's top tourist attractions. But now, the site's vast underground tunnel system is also open to the public. Our very own Seth Doan got a look at the miles of Roman history being explored for the first time in centuries. Nearly 2,000 years ago, it was built to impress, and still does today, even in ruins. The elaborate mosaics in soaring multi-story structures were the public baths, or terme, of Roman Emperor Caracalla. It was a massive spa of the ancient world, complete with gyms, saunas, libraries, and three main pools, one cold, one tepid, one hot. And now, as of late June, there's a new world to explore underground. If you go upstairs, you can see the great beauty uh, of the baths and of Rome, of course. If you are here, you understand the, the function, the technology, and the greatness of the Roman architects. Marina Piraramonte has been director here for more than two decades. So I was alone for many, many years in this area and thinking and desiring to open these tunnels to the public. This is the first time the public has ever been allowed into this part of this sprawling network of underground tunnels. So far they've excavated about a mile of them, but still have around two and a half miles to go. In the tunnels, they've projected video artwork dreamed up by a contemporary artist as a way to evoke feelings and help visitors understand the past. Down here was where the work happened, with slaves moving wood and lighting fires to heat the pool and saunas above for the up to 8,000 daily guests. I think that uh, the technology inside the baths of Caracalla is very, very complicated and, and, and very rare. Francesco Prosperetti is the superintendent of archaeology in Rome. No small job. He's taken us deep into the once forgotten Duomus Aria, Emperor Nero's palace, where they introduced virtual reality to help recreate the past. Then, after Rome's subway excavation turned up so many artifacts, he turned a metro station into a museum. And now this. People think of the Colosseum, the Circus Maximus. People don't know as much the Baths yes, of Caracalla. You're right. And this is strange because Caracalla is the biggest monument in the ancient Rome. If you take the Colosseum and put it inside Caracalla, Caracalla is bigger. The ancient baths were free to the public, showcasing the generosity of the emperor and the grandeur of the empire. Daniel Schmidt came from Virginia. To see the history of them curtaining the wood to be able to heat the water in order to keep the people clean, and uh, it's, the size is just enormous. It's amazing. His nine-year-old marveled at something else. In the ancient times, they still did things that we do today. Like take a bath? Yeah. These cavernous tunnels, now filled with art, were first excavated in the 1930s, in part to stabilize another structure above, a giant stage. Each summer, Rome's opera moves outside, here. Mixing art and archaeology above ground, too with the Caracalla Baths providing a magnificent backdrop, millennia in the making. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Seth Doan, Rome.